In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a health bar GUI in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go into start GUI and insert a screen GUI. And I'm just going to call it health bar. Inside the screen GUI, I'm going to add a frame. I'm going to bring the frame to the middle near the bottom and I'm going to size it down. Next, I'm going to insert a UI corner and then I'm going to insert a UI stroke. I'm just going to make the UI stroke a little thicker. Now I'm going to change the frame's background color to red. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another frame inside this frame. Now I'm going to make it the same size as the first frame that I made by going down to the size property and typing in 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. So basically what this does is it sizes the frame to be the exact same size as the parent. So this outer frame over here. So now we have two identical sized frames. Now this inner frame is going to be our green health bar. So I'm going to change the background color to green. I'm also going to add a UI corner and a UI stroke inside the inner frame as well. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text label inside of the outer frame. I'm also going to size the text label 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. This will make sure that it's the exact same size as the outer frame. And I'm just going to call this text label text display. I'm going to make the background transparency to 1. And I'm just going to scale the text by enabling the text scaled property. And I'm going to replace the text to say 100-100. So this is going to be our health bar. Now we need to script it. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to insert a local script inside this inner frame over here. I'm just going to name it inner frame so we don't get confused. And I'm going to name this other frame to outer frame. So we're going to go in the inner frame and insert a local script. So we're going to start off by getting the tween service by doing local tween service equals game get service tween service. Now we're going to get the player object by doing local player equals game get service players dot local player. Now we're going to get the player's character by doing local character equals player dot character or player dot character added weight. Then we're going to get the humanoid. So local humanoid equals character weight for child humanoid. And we're going to set a variable called health bar and set it equal to script.parent. So the inner frame will serve as our health bar. Next, we'll create a function to tween the health bar when the health changes. So we're going to do local function update health bar. Local health equals math.clamp humanoid.health slash humanoid dot max health comma zero comma one. Next we're going to create a new tween info because we're going to tween the bar. So we're going to do local info equals tween info dot new humanoid dot health slash humanoid dot max health comma enum dot easing style dot exponential comma enum dot easing direction dot in out comma zero comma false comma zero and lastly we're going to create the tween by doing tween service create script dot parent so we're going to be tweening the health bar 
we're going to be sending the info that we just created and in brackets we're going to be doing size equals udem2 dot from scale health comma one and at the end here we're going to write play and then we're going to call this function update health bar and at the bottom over here we're going to get the property change signal for health and max health so we can update the health bar every time the health changes so we're going to do humanoid get property change signal health connect update health bar and humanoid get property change signal max health connect update health bar so basically what this does is it will update the health bar every time the health or the max health changes so here's a full look at the script now to test this portion of the health bar i'm going to create a part a modified kill brick that will damage the player when it is touched so I'm just place it right beside the spawn so we don't have to move very much. And I'm just going to insert a script inside that will damage the player if it's touched. So there, I've added a script that will take 10 health away from the player every time it's touched. So now we're going to go ahead and test our health bar. So we start off with 100 health and when I touch this part, I should lose 10 health and I should have 90 and it should be updated on the health bar. And it is because the green kind of fell back a little because we were losing health. Every time I touch the part, the green moves back a little as I get closer and closer to zero health. But as you can see, the text isn't changing. So that's what we're gonna handle next. So I'm gonna go back inside this GUI and inside the text display, I'm gonna add another local script. So this script will help change the text that's inside the health bar. So first, I'm going to take a few lines from this other script that we wrote. So I'm going to copy these lines where we got the player, the character, and the humanoid. So we're going to go back into this new script and we're going to paste it inside. So after we've gotten the player, the character, and the humanoid, the next thing we want to get is the text label. So we're going to do local text label equals script.parent. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function that will help me update the health bar's text. So I'm going to call it update health bar. So inside, I'm just going to set the text labels text to the modified health value. So I'm going to do text label dot text equals math dot round humanoid dot health concatenate quotation marks space slash space concatenate again math dot round humanoid dot max health and we're going to call the function update health bar and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to call the function if the humanoid's health or max health changes so we can go back inside the other local script and copy these last two lines over here now i'm just going to paste in here and then now the script is finished so let's try to run it again, and we should see the text updating as well. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to touch this damage part. So I've just been damaged, and now the text changes as well. So I take damage, the green goes back, and now the text updates as well. So currently I have 58, 59, 60 health. If I reset, it goes to zero. Now when I respawn again, it goes back to 100. If I go back onto this damage part, it takes the health and updates it accordingly. So that's how you make a health bar GUI in Roblox Studio. If you're interested in learning Roblox scripting, check out my Roblox scripting guide for beginners video. I'll leave an end screen right about now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.